Well that sure wasn't the quickest way to Inverness and back, but it certainly was a lot of fun. And after a very slow walk home, you know why, we're right back where we started, 36 hours later. Morning Lulu. And so begins my weekend. I'm going to be travelling from Edinburgh to Inverness and back, but it's not quite that straightforward. But you can find out for yourself what I mean by that because you're going to be coming with me every step of the way. This could go so wrong. Now I think I've planned this weekend pretty well for the travel. As long as everything runs on time we should be absolutely fine, fingers crossed. But what I haven't done is plan the video. All I did was charge up the camera batteries, chuck all the cameras in my bag and left the flat. So as is always my strategy when I'm underprepared like this, I'm just going to film as much as I can and I'll try and bundle together some kind of video in the edit. I'm really sorry if this doesn't work. city centre. Oh this phone box smells of pit. On St Andrews Square and I'm looking for an electric bus that'll take me as far as Dundee. Oh look, Thistle. If I'm not mistaken that's my bus right there. Hello mate. Uh, what's the name sir? Uh, Marsh. Thank you. Thanks very much. Perfect. Seriously comfortable bus seats, the best I've ever been on, and the legroom's great, wee table, USB, and a quiet electric bus. Hour two, breakfast with a view. Thank you. Thank you. See you, See you later. Many of our hearts become less attractive to the things of God. Hour three, welcome to Dundee. I've got to stop making those rhyme. I've got two hours here in Dundee before my train up to Aberdeen and then on to Inverness. Dundee is of course City of Discovery and it's also home to the V&A. A very impressive building, a very popular place. I would have gone in here today, but it's totally sold out. And also Dundee train station. I don't remember it looking like that, but that's where we'll be going in about an hour and a half. Hey buddy. 
The next leg of my afternoon is a train from here in Dundee up to Aberdeen and then I'll be connecting on to the Inverness train. Now thankfully my train seems to be on time at the moment because I've only got 10 minutes to change in Aberdeen and that's not fake news. I just checked the board and it says that this train is standing room only so hoping it's not like that all the way to Aberdeen but I booked it on the train line app and it doesn't seem to say anything about a reserved seat. Ah, it's fine. We'll be okay. Hour five. Hello! We'll shortly be arriving into Aberdeen. This is the only stressful part of my journey today. I've got about seven or eight minutes to connect and I'm not sure of the platform yet. Hour six, I've got quite lucky, the Inverness train is on the same platform. I'm gonna make my connection. Has it only got two carriages? Hello Inverness. Hour 9, Inverness. I think it's at that old bus stop over there that I'll get my bus to Ardis here and that's where I'm staying tonight. Starting to feel a bit tired, but to be honest I've been sitting down all day so when I get to my bed and breakfast I'll probably just dump the bag and go for a walk. And there's some fast food that's looking very tempting at the moment. I don't know why I was expecting that just to be a wee bus, but it was a big bus. Now I think my bed and breakfast is around here somewhere. Nairn Road.
Oh, wow, grand. Did you in here? Perfect. Right, so, um, what do I need to tell you? Wi-Fi number is up there. Okay. Uh, tea and coffee and water there. Hour 11. I'm starting to feel tired now, but I've been sitting down for most of the day, so I'm going to go for a walk this evening. As you can see, Inverness Airport, two and a half miles that way, so I'll probably walk there along the beach tomorrow. And Fort George, two miles this way, and that's our evening walk. Now, my host was telling me, just keep walking along this road until I see some dolphins. Turn left and there'll be a path out to Fort George. Psst, psst. Psst, 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 psst. So there's our dolphins. I hope you weren't expecting real ones, folks. So we'll just head along this path now and I'll show you the fort before I turn in for the night. And I can feel rain. Oh no, I didn't even bring a jacket. So as we leave Ardor Seer behind us and I'm walking along towards the fort, a fort that I didn't even know existed, so I've been hastily doing my research online. And Wiki Steve can now tell you that the fort was built in the 18th century and it was to control the Scottish Highlands in the aftermath of the Jacobite Rising of 1745. And it's still home to the Black Watch. But in November 2016, Defence Minister Sir Michael Fallon commented, it was no longer needed because the Highland rebellions were over. That's what he thinks. Now this is still an active military base, so I can't get beyond this point. But there is a visitor centre over to the right there. I guess that's the more historic part of Fort George. And this is the active base over here. But I really love how it's just built low into the ground. This would be another perfect place for a drone, but no, I don't have one. Hour 12. Hello. Hi. I love these little villages and you can smell the fire from the chimneys. Wish I could smell a pub. Hour 13. Hour 14. Hour 23. Good morning. I only had one beer last night, but I still overslept this morning, that's for sure. I was going to get up early, go for a walk, but I had a good sleep instead. Why not? Can't do everything in one weekend, I guess. At the moment, I'm just scoping out how to get to the airport. Whether to go on the beach, there's a bit of a farm track, or I can go along the road, which will be quiet on a Sunday. But I'm still not sure. More adventures today as we slowly make our way back to Edinburgh. Hour 24, breakfast. Hour 25, a dodgy walk to the airport. Geese. Of course, I could have taken the bus. Far too easy. This isn't the most inspired or safest way to get to an airport, but I can see the swirly radar thing already. So we're no too far away. So here we are arriving at Inverness Airport. Ah, that smell of Avgas. Now I could have spent an extra 60 quid and stayed at the courtyard by Marriott last night, but no, this is a bargain basement YouTube channel. And I think that walk this morning was worth the saving. It took me over an hour, so that means we are on hour 26.
There's a difference between gold and silver. There's gold definitively today. Yeah. I've just come through security and this is me airside now at Inverness Airport. There's just two or three gates here. It's not the biggest place in the world. But there's still a couple of shops and restaurants, a place to get a wee coffee. And is that the Aspire Lounge? If that's the Aspire Lounge, it's the smallest lounge I've ever seen in my life. Hour 27. So welcome to Stornoway. This is not how I was expecting the weather in the Outer Hebrides. There's barely a breath of wind today. It's absolutely beautiful. I was going to take the lazy option and get a taxi into town, but I couldn't find any taxis at an airport. But it is Sunday and it's very like that up here on a Sunday. Everything kind of closes. So I was, I was ready for it. And that's another two airports ticked off the list. One thing you notice when you get to the Outer Hebrides is that English becomes the second language. Cool. <laughs> oh, have, you got, have you got a shoe? <laughs> Walking the side of roads again. This is my normal weekend, folks. If I find a taxi in the centre of Stornoway, my birthday present to myself is getting it back to the airport. And there's the runway we arrived on about 25 minutes ago. It's quite scary walking along this road. They drive faster here than they do in Inverness. Hour 29, and I'm still not in Stornoway. I've given myself about another 20 minutes to half an hour before I have to turn round again. Come on, Steve. Oh, look though, I've officially arrived in Stornoway, look. I've finally been brave enough to check my phone how long it takes to get to the harbour. It says 10 minutes walk. I've got eight minutes until I should be turning around. 
I did check Uber as well. Uber is not available in this area. Mission well and truly accomplished. I've made it down to the harbour. You can see the Calmac. I think that's the Ullapool boat just over there. Well, I made it to Stornoway Harbour. And what's my impressions of the place? Well, come on, I can't give impressions because I've been here for like two minutes. But it certainly feels to me bigger than Lerwick, bigger than Kirkwall. I know it's not, but it's got that feel about it. And to be honest, it feels very livable and very closed on a Sunday. And I still haven't found a taxi. So it looks like I'm walking back. It was really nice to get here and just get a glimpse of the place and a wee feel for it, but man, I really want to come back. This would be a nice holiday to come up and explore, not just Stornoway obviously, but Lewis and Harris. Well overdue a visit. I just went into that petrol station to try and get a drink or something but I think because it's the only place that's open in the whole town it's pretty much queued out the door I don't think I've got time just pause at the Stornoway sign here and just looking down the coast it's absolutely magnificent it feels like you can see forever and another thing if I just cross the road here the house that I'm about to show you it looks like we're in Los Angeles or something this is Stornoway And that's a speed that nobody does here, by the way. Well, except him. And here we are back at Stornoway Airport. I almost said Inverness Airport. I'm so tired. Time to go home, guys. Hello there. Okay. How are you? Thanks, Thank you. Yeah, you Cheers. Good. Thank you.
23,000 feet, ground speed of about 380 miles an hour. Doing our best to make up some uh, time for the time spent on the ground and storm away waiting for the uh, Scottish clearance. So we're down in the next couple of minutes, uh, routing over the top of Loch Lomond, making a right turn, heading out towards Melbourne before making a left turn and landing on the north east of the runway Glasgow. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. Hour thirty two. made it to hour 33 folks welcome to sunny Glasgow now I've just got to head over to the new Queen Street station and fingers crossed there'll be a train that'll take me home Queen Street station is completely unrecognizable since the last time I was here and I didn't even think that was that long ago but it's nice to see that they've kept the original roof over the actual trains now I'm on platform 9 for the train to Edinburgh Welcome back to Edinburgh, but we're not quite home yet. Hour 35. Well that sure wasn't the quickest way to Inverness and back, but it certainly was a lot of fun. And after a very slow walk home, you know why, we're right back where we started, 36 hours later. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright 